to add to that? Yeah, Is it's day one. Everything I've ever done has started small. Um, Amazon started <laughs> with a couple of people, and um, uh, Blue Origin started with five people. And uh, the budget at Blue Origin was very, very small. Now the budget at Blue Origin is, approaches a billion dollars a year. And next year it'll be more than a billion dollars. And Amazon, it literally was 10 people. Today it's half a million people, but you, you, it's hard to remember for you guys. But for me, it's like yesterday, I was driving the packages to the post office myself and okay. um, hoping one day we could afford a forklift. And so, but so for me, I've seen small things get big and it's part of this day one mentality. I like treating things as if, if they're small. You know, Amazon, even though it is a large company, I wanted to have the heart and spirit of a small one. And, uh, and so anyway, that, the day one foundation is gonna be like that. We'll, 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 um, we'll wander a little bit too. So I, we have some very specific ideas of what we wanna do, but I believe in the power of wandering. All of my best decisions in business and in life have been made with heart, intuition, guts, uh, you know, uh, not, not uh, anal analysis. Um, when you can make a decision with analysis, you should do so, but it turns out in life that your most important decisions are always made with instinct, intuition, taste, heart. Um, and that's what we'll do with this day one foundation too. Right. And the customer is gonna be the child. This is, this is so important because the secret sauce of Amazon, where there are several principles at Amazon, but the number one thing that has made us successful by far is obsessive compulsive focus on the customer as opposed to obsession over the competitor. And I talk so often to um, other CEOs and uh, some other CEOs and also founders and entrepreneurs. And I can tell that even though they're talking about customers, they're really focusing on competitors. And it is a huge advantage to any company if you can stay focused on your customer instead of your competitor. So then you have to identify who is your customer. Um, so at the Washington Post, for example, is the customer the people who buy advertisements from us? No, the customer is the reader. And in the school, who are the customers? Is it the parents? Is it the teachers? No. It is the child, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be obsessively, compulsively focused on the child, we're gonna be scientific when we can be, and we're gonna use heart and intuition when we, when we well, need to. When you use your intuition make decisions, where is the intuition leading you now on your second headquarters? <laughs>